Hey guys, wanted to bring you another YouTube video. Um, so the RNC just wrapped up yesterday and there was a lot of anticipation leading up to former President Trump uh, with his speech since last Saturday uh, incident. So just wanted, I, I watch most of the days, um, Monday through Thursday. Um, so wanted to kind of go over my thoughts, some of the interesting things from both sides on how they kind of perceive and saw things um, and, and what I liked of some of the speeches so uh, there was one uh, mom that lost her son I believe it was um, in New York that I guess a criminal killed her son and so it was supposed to get justice through uh, New York through Alvin Bragg but it sounds like just like the same fate of Donald Trump was kind of like not gained that full justice. So uh, I, again, there's been a lot of criticism uh, with Alvin Bragg. Um, and so again, this, you, you could look up the RNC um, um, speech. Um, I thought it was very touching, especially again, there's no point for her to lie or anything like that. Um, and it's a very heartfelt speech from a mom. Um, if that happened to me as a dad or as a parent, I would be doing the same thing as her. Be very upset and fight for that same reason. And that's the same theme I felt like with the RNC of why they're fighting for making America great again. And the different days that they had different themes. So again, uh, they were focusing the border, the economics, uh, pretty much, I mean, I'm more of a policy person and um, I would say I'm not too far left or right. I'm more independent, I would say, even though uh, I'm registered with a certain party. Um, I might talk more about my history on how I voted and what my thought process is. Um, I feel like most Americans used to vote that way, either ones uh, not too far left or right, to be honest. Um, but again, these are the two candidates, well, three, to be honest, I, I would say three major candidates would be RFK, Biden for now, we don't know how it's, it's going to turn out, and Donald Trump. So again this is where um you're kind of going based on who you think is going to be the best at the time and so the next one i would say that was very interesting was the um let's see the 22 year old american that is stuck in israel with their parents playing again same theme um, um foreign policy this time trying to Pretty much um, that family is playing um, to be able to s get their son out of that country um, as a prisoner. So, um, and they started chant, uh, free him and bring him back home. So, uh, again, that's our people that's left there. And so, the, when we were talking about Brittany Griner to bring her home and how long that took. It's the same thing like these families that have families in other countries and how things were dealt. That, that's what they're talking about. Um, so that was another heartfelt um, mom and dad talking on what's going on. Next one was Pastor Lorenzo Sewell. Um, I thought that was pretty and he was day four because he was yesterday and fresh off. Um, kind of revealing uh, how Trump went to a blue city and then wanted to go to a church and how some seems like uh, members did not want him there. So he was also there during his birthday weekend. And so I thought that was interesting that what he wanted, according to the pastor, was that he wanted prayer. And 30 days later, his part of his prayer was answered, I guess, because he was um, 
it was like a God in, uh, intervention and being able to protect them um, during the assassination attempt. So definitely there. Um, as a wrestling fan, Hulk Hogan, I thought that was interesting, especially the last election. One of my favorite wrestlers also, The Rock, uh, was endorsing uh, the Democrats and Biden and um, Harris. This time he's not, he said he's not going to back in. But this time we got another big wrestler, or former wrestler, Hulk Hogan, is definitely endorsing uh, Trump. Obviously, it's a little different because Hogan's more on the older side and retired from wrestling. So... Um, it probably won't hurt his career because more concern, um, people on the left will not like anyone on the right in that sense. Um, that segues to the next, I thought, Amber Rose. I did not know who she is. I had to look her up and thought she has 24 million Instagram, I believe I saw, and was able to um, reach out. I think more on that middle class and more as a mom so that's another person she knew what was going to come towards her um, especially if she was on day one and was able to articulate and uh, speak very well to convey her message so um, obviously a lot of people from the left kind of like um, talking trash towards her which she already acknowledged and she acknowledged what the media and again which is sad um, looking back I think they trash Hogan <laughs> calling Trump a knight uh, was a laughable thing um, and then trash Donald Trump on mentioning about God and especially joy uh, from the view so another one I thought did well for her age and first time I've heard her talk is Kai Trump she is the daughter of Don Jr. And so that's another trying to show what type of person Grandpa Trump is. And so, I don't know. Like I said, it was totally different. I felt like they had all these different stories, different um, religion, race, color. Um, kind of hit more of different trying to accept and take everyone. And... Um, let me skip Donald Trump last. So I, I like Tim Scott speech and Vivek um, the, uh, Follow the politicians that kind of stood out after of everybody but again more of those um, everyday people stood out to me and Like the celebrities they didn't have me. They're not the, uh, Democrats. They're not going to have as many um, But the ones that spoke like I said Amber Rose and Hulk Hogan kind of like has a range of different people that you would be able to target so last but not least obviously i thought donald trump started very well especially um acknowledging the person that passed corey at the uh, rally and i did think it was kind of long his speech was an hour and a half i believe in, in the end like 93 minutes um but that could be good and bad. I mean, a lot of people were saying, yeah, it was long. But that does kind of show his stamina. Um, he has more stamina, I'll admit, more than me. Um, he could operate on little sleep. If you haven't known how much sleep he needs, you should look that up. It's pretty gnarly and ridiculous. Um, he's been doing that for the longest time. And so, um, unlike the other parties, he's... He's got a higher stamina, I think, and is able to operate those crazy hours that you have to as a president. So, um, and I didn't put J.D. Vance on this list because I guess I didn't think, I mean, yeah, sure. He, it was his first speech as a vice president, but again, um, I, I can't say I, I, he's outstanding. Like, I really like the way Vivek and Tim Scott, uh, those, like how much energy they had to be able to command that room that day. So Trump, obviously, like I said, um, 
I thought it was a good speech, especially that quote where he said, I want to be present for everyone. Sure, if I win, um, the other half is not a victory there. So it's like he is really trying to unite, sounds like, based on what they were trying to accomplish and the people that they invited. And, um, but obviously, the media, the left, um, especially like The View, um, Joy, like I mentioned, ripped him saying he's narcissist uh, because he mentioned how God was with him pretty much. And like I said, it's the most I've heard him talk about God and how he really thought, like I said, as a changed person probably for that near a counter of death that could change anyone and so I do really think he was sincere on how close he was not going to be there it would have been a different outcome for that week and it takes someone kind of like unique to be able to talk the good like be able to bring the crowd like like the sad and be able to be charismatic and uh, be able to tell jokes and stuff like that uh, especially like how he talked about the chart because without that chart without turning that head he would have not been there and so again a lot of Christians like me and others thought hey that was like kind of God's plan or something as an intervention on how because things kind of fell in place on that sense and so I I, I like I said, it was a crazy week. Um, it was the first time he spoke with the advantage. Now people are saying the media on the left is saying it's fake. Um, even though, like, that's very disrespectful, I think, to say it's fake when someone did pass away. And that's very disrespectful to the family. I thought it was very neat that they were able to raise $6 million, roughly. Um, for the family um, that got shot and one that passed um, but obviously like you mentioned he knows that it's that money is not going to bring back the loved one or be able to change things so I think overall he did well um, I knew the left was going to use some of the stuff um, and honestly I thought they were going to, I haven't seen as much but I thought they were going to, um, kind of attack him based on his promo that he had before he stepped out with the Biden on the steps going up um, but yeah I, I thought that was going to be some things that they were going to use um, especially if they're going to say he's a narcissist I heard within 24 hours this week I thought they, they didn't even cool down the temperature um, I thought it was nice that Biden was only mentioned once um, I don't know if it's strategic because they may be thinking that what we're hearing from is the Democrats are going to not nominate Biden and is putting pressure on him uh, to drop out. So maybe he, um, Trump is thinking that he does not want to use that much energy on them or waste any energy. So uh, on wh whoever he's going to be to um, going against. I think they have a tall task on uh, who they have to get ready for. Um, but it's going to be interesting. I'll probably, again, watch the DNC just to see because I feel like, and because I'm a big sports fan, there's not much sports going on. This is like a big, to me, it's like a sporting event at this point and soap opera because you would have never expected some of the twists and turns at this point of what's been going on. Um, and now, Joe Biden it can't campaign right now because he got COVID while he was here in Vegas. So um, let me know what you think and go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Um, let me know what you think, especially if you're more of the independent or both sides. Hopefully you guys are going to uh, be able to not um, tear each other apart again. I believe more in unity and I've always thought that and try and bring people together instead of try to divide. But last, I would say decade, 
it's been more divisive than anything especially if you talk politics and usually i try not to but i think it is a point year and how things are like one way and try and show that perspective of the others because if you could put each other in each other's shoes and perspective i think that makes things better instead of like ripping each other and not hearing each other out so go ahead and hit that like button subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so and together we could build better tomorrow thanks